Anyway, you guys. So. <laughs> right? Everything has just, the world has turned. <laughs> so, the Lush Kitchen will be no more. So last week, uh, last Friday, it seems, was the last Lush Kitchen. And this morning, the uh, Lush Kitchen and just Lush in general had uh, made a video and um, they wanted to explain what the changes that are coming up regarding Lush and the Lush Kitchen. And after reading the various comments on my feed on Facebook and after watching their video, um, what I've concluded is, now this is just my opinion, it's not fact, okay? I just wanna make that clear, this is just my opinion. So this is what I think that they're going to be doing in general. So um, a long time ago, like 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, Lush started doing something at that time called retro. They would also do something called voting for your favorite older Lush products. And so how that would work is that everyone on the forum would vote for their favorite, okay? They wouldn't have a preset list of things for us to vote from. We just voted for our favorite retro thing. That went on like that for a few years. Then, um, then the time period that I'm talking about, Lush decided they were going to put a whole new section on their regular Lush uh, retail website just for retro products. And now the Lush Kitchen, all this time, 90% of the things in the Lush Kitchen these past few years are retro items okay so the products are not different than they are from the lush kitchen they're going to be the same products now how they would work that back then anyway i don't know if they're going to do it this way now i have no idea but i'm just explaining how they did it back then how they did it back then with retro is that it was either once a month or once every four months something like that they would put 25 to 50 Lush retro products up on the website in its own little retro section. And they would be up there all the time, 24 seven every day for months. So that whenever you go to the website uh, to buy your regular things, you can, you can just go there anytime, click on retro. Oh, there's whitewash. I'm going to buy one of those. And then I'm going to buy, um, something new from Lush, like this lotion and bath bomb. And, uh, oh yeah, I wanted a pineapple grunt soap. I'll get that. And then all of those things are one shipping price. If I wanted to back then I could buy 10 whitewash smoothies and, um, you know, four, uh, karma pyramids, bath melts and go about my merry way just like I order now on the regular Lush website. So there's not gonna be any difference. For instance, if I wanted to order an Avo bath off of the Lush website, I would just order it. I could order one or 10 or however many my budget would allow me to order. It's gonna be the same thing with the retro products. Now, then what they used to do to continue, then in another few months, they would take those 25 to 50 retro products off the site and add on another uh, 25 to 50 new retro products. <clears throat> well, new retro, that doesn't, that's an oxymoron, but they would add an additional 25 uh, uh, different products, uh, retro products. So I have a list of all of the Lush retro products in alphabetical order on my blog. I've had that list get there since 2001. And, um, and so anytime you see something in the retro section, all you have to do is just click on it and there'll be a description on the Lush site. Alternatively, you can go to my blog and find the name of that, click it, and I will have my photos and my video demo and, and my written review of that product. 
So that's how I think it's going to work. Now the question I have is how are they going to choose the 25 to 50 products that they're going to have on the website? Now how they used to do it is it was sort of by popular, popular demand, sort of. I mean, the thing that, that I don't like about the Lush Kitchen and now this Lush Retro thing is that I'm told that we can vote for what, we can request whatever we want from the Lush Kitchen all this time. And um, I don't think that's true. I, I just don't. I mean, because I made a video uh, that's here on my YouTube channel that a lot of uh, people enjoyed, and it's called, What Has the Lush Kitchen Not Made? And in that video, I list a shitload of Lush Retro products that were never made in the kitchen for whatever reason and were never voted on. Now, here's the thing that myself and other old school Lushies sort of somewhat have a problem with, okay? Now, people are supposed to vote for these. Now, the majority of the Lush community, okay, the majority of Lush customers are newer customers, right? In the last few years, right? Not old school Lushies from like 2001, right? There's probably fewer of those folks around to vote. You know what I mean? So these people who are voting, I doubt a lot of these people even know about a lot of these products that the Lush Kitchen has never even made, right? I mean, we know about them because we used them, right? But new people wouldn't know because they've never used them. So when they say vote for, well, who is voting, number one? And I mean, you know what I mean? It just seems kind of like arbitrary to me, but okay. So, and plus, I mean, I have voted and no one has ever responded to me, like ever. <laughs> one time I sent the Lush Kitchen a Gavarni soap, and my very last flower tub bubble bar. And I wrote a letter and I said, you know, I'm requesting that you make these, please. Um, there's so many of us on my Lush Facebook page that would love to buy many of these. They're so gorgeous. And I never heard a word back from them. I never heard anything about the products I sent them. I never heard anything back. So that's why I think that I don't know about that whole you can request what you want kind of a thing. So, so, so in my opinion, there are only going to be sort of like um, a static amount of lush retro products that will be available. So I think most people would love this idea. I think most people, you know, I mean, they're all different products that they never heard of versus the regular stuff that's going to be on the regular Lush website. So I think that'll be kind of exciting. It's just the, uh, the, I don't know, the, the real list, the real list of Lush retro products isn't anywhere on, isn't going to be anywhere on that Lush site. It just isn't. So, um, so that's what my list is for. Okay. And the reason why I'm pimping my list is because of the things on the list. Not just because it's my list, but because my list is all inclusive, okay? So no more, no more Lush Kitchen Weekly, you know, waiting uh, a Friday to see what they're gonna be making. So, and a lot of you uh, have said, oh no, no, you guys aren't gonna make your weekly ki kitchen videos and uh, you know, what a bummer. And, and I really appreciate that. And that while it's true, I won't be making any more Friday kitchen videos. I, it's not like I'm going to stop making lush videos. I mean, I make one to five lush videos every single week. So there are so many, there are so many lush products, retro and new that I will never run out of things to a uh, video here on my YouTube channel. So including the retro things. Now, what I will do is I'm going to build a retro page on my blog. Now, now if you think about it, 
the list of things on my blog is already, there's retro stuff in it. The list of the thousands of products that Lush has made that's on my blog, the alphabetical list, some of those are retro, some of them are new, some of them are only made one time special things, so it's all inclusive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all of the retro, the typical historic retro Lush products, take the, and make a separate list with just those in there. And then what I'll do is I'll have links to every single one of those Lush retro products with pictures, reviews, ingredients, video demo, etc. So that when they do come out, you can look them up on my blog or other people's blog and kind of get to know what the products are like in that way. And I'm still going to be making videos. I mean, <laughs> this sort of frees me up in a way to make more of the Lush videos that I was wanting to uh, when I started this channel, uh, meaning things like... Um, you know, sh showing you my collection and talking about it, or even things like showing you all of the Lush catalogs or all of the Lush Cosmetics to Go catalogs and reading them to you. I don't know if you guys remember, I had some videos where I would read these uh, cat old cat Lush catalogs and Lush Be Never catalogs and Lush uh, Cosmetics to Go catalogs. The creator of Lush, Mark Constantine, had sent me all of his uh, all of his catalogs for Cosmetics to Go, uh, still wrapped <laughs> from his collection. So, um, so I have all of those I can show you, and all kinds of stuff. I have all all kinds of stuff. I still have hundreds of review videos of products that I have to do and. Um, there's so many things, there's so many things that I cannot wait to make videos about. Um, and, and really, I'll still leave it up to you guys to let me know what you wanna see on this channel as well. So I'm totally open to any ideas that you guys have. And so that is what's going on with the Lush Kitchen. Now, they said that they were going to be letting us know, you know, more details about about what they're doing, etc. So Lush, you need to make flower tub bubble bar. I mean, to not make these things that people want and and then, I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> so you guys might wanna check out the What Has Lush Not Made video. I'll leave a link to that down below in my description box. Now the things that aren't retro that the Lush Kitchen has sold, and those things are things like Fun with a Twist, um, Lord of Misrule Body Conditioner, uh, Lemony Flutter Body Conditioner, you know, Jungle Lotion, um, you know, uh, one-off perfumes, um, you know, things like that. Those are the things that I worry about that are going to be lost in the translation with the new retro section. But, um, you know, I don't know. I, I, I'm just guessing. You know, I'm just telling you like what my concerns are. And then also the Lush Kitchen gave us an opportunity to purchase products that hadn't been available to the public yet. So the Lush Kitchen would, would allow us to, to buy some of those way earlier than the public would have got them. So those, that's another th kind of thing the Lush Kitchen was doing that I don't see how it's going to translate into the retro section. And then, um, you know, just, just things like that. So I went ahead this morning and uh, made a Facebook post on my personal Facebook uh, where, all my, where all the uh, old school retro Lushies are <laughs> on my friends list. And we're discussing it, you know, the pros, the cons, the fears, the concerns, the uh, you know, the, the cool things about this change, etc. And so, uh, again, I'm going to be making a retro section on my blog. These are the categories of products that Lush makes and sells, okay? Number one, they're regular year-round products that they sell in all the stores 
and online at lush.co.uk and at lush usa etc okay then they have their limited edition products those are the holiday things the christmas items easter halloween valentine etc limited editions they're only around for that holiday and then they go away and they may not come again next year or they sometimes they do okay so that's two the third kind of product that has been made are forum specials and those were very one-off things meaning they never made them before there weren't any such thing before we thought of them on before the customers thought of them on the lush forum and so those are rare, of course, never going to be made again. And I can list all of those products on my uh, Lush blog as well. I, I actually have all of those products, so I can show you pictures of all of those uh, one-off forum specials. Then they, there are retro products. Retro just means it's an old discontinued Lush product, okay? Now, Lush has discontinued products from 1999, from 2000, from the year 2001, 2002, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay? All those products that they've made in the past are considered retro products. Okay? Then you have uh, what the Lush Kitchen uh, called exclusive products, which were very similar to the one-off forum specials that you had a long time ago. Those things are, have never been made for the public. They were created in the Lush Kitchen at that time, real organic-like, and then made one time only, and that's it for one day, and they'll never be made again. Those things were fun with a twist. The uh, one-off body conditioners, the one-off lotions, the one-off solid... Um, solid and liquid uh, perfumes, things like Twilight Shower Jelly, Rose Jam Shower Jelly, Honey I Wash the Kids Shower Jelly. Um, those are not retro items. None of the, you know, fun with a twist, none of these were retro items and stuff like that. So that's the next different kind of product. And then there are the Oxford Street exclusive products that are only available there uh, one, one time only. And, and then the even more rare, um, you know, uh, made for one person, like the people on factory tours or have products made for them, that, those kinds of products. Then we have the Lush Be Never products, okay, which are separate. They're also retro, but they're in a separate group than the other retro products because they're not Lush per se. Lush used to have a sister company. It was a subsidiary of Lush. And it was a boutique in London where they sold bath and body products and makeup just like they do now, except on a much smaller scale and more exclusive, more ornate and prettified and all like that. And that boutique was called Be Never Too Busy to Be Beautiful. Lush had a tab on their regular Lush UK website for the Be Never products, okay? Now, those are the Be Never products. Lush has remade some of the Be Never products in the Lush kitchen. For instance, the Two Hearts Beating as One is a Be Never product. Dear John is a Be Never product. In fact, in fact, all of these discontinued Lush products are from Be Never. Lush had never made these before. Be Never did though. They were called different. They were called different names. I have all of those products on my blog as well. And then <laughs> there is the Cosmetics to Go products. Those are even older than the Lush at Be Never products. Cosmetics to Go was the company that Lush was before they called themselves Lush. So from 1993 to, I think, 1995 or 6, there was Cosmetics to Go. Now, that one was a strictly mail order company. They didn't have stores. And so um, Lush, in all of their stores right now, Lush sells this book. 
this is Danger Cosmetics to Go. It's up at all of their counters, at all of the Lush stores, and it's available online. And this was a book that was written by Lush's Mira Manga. She wrote this book to talk about the Cosmetics to Go company and the lovely products that they used to make. And um, I'm also in this book, I have to say. Uh, she thanked me for uh, some of the knowledge that I had that helped her with this book and other people did help her with this book as well as far as that kind of stuff. And uh, it includes lots of wonderful stuff. You guys should really try to check this out and buy one. You would love it. And so a lot of the Cosmetics To Go products um, have been either remade with a different name and sold as regular Lush products or some of them have been remade with their old name in the Lush Kitchen. Now those kinds of products, those last two or three kinds of products are the products that I was kind of concerned about how that would translate into out of the Lush Kitchen and into Lush Retro, okay? So those are the kinds of products that Lush makes. And those are the, all those category of products are on my Lush blog. And so if you have any questions about any of those kinds of categories, I guess, of Lush products, uh, just let me know by commenting below and I'll try to answer as soon as I can or point you in the right direction where you can get an answer or oftentimes you guys help each other out in the comments below and someone will answer. So that's it for the Lush Kitchen. And uh, this will be the Lush, Lush Kitchen video, but certainly not the last video. And uh, I'm going to leave a poll up here just with some ideas of videos that I plan on doing. And I wanted to just kind of get an idea of what you guys, uh, you know, were interested in. And so with that, if you enjoy this video, please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down there and subscribe to my channel and that way you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new Lush video and I do upload a Lush video one to five times every week and as always thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you next Lush video. Bye bye.